San Francisco at Los Angeles Rams. Is Brock Purdy's accuracy a concern? Well, last week it was. And that's the thing is, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, I don't think any Niners fans would either. I think they'd agree completely with my stance here. But, you know, you can't panic yet. But, uh, you know, if things keep going, if this, if last week is a trend, yeah, it's a rough, rough trend. Because it's the Garoppolo trend to an extent where it's like we're, we're, we're dialing everything up perfectly, but we're just missing a few things we can't miss. Again, he hasn't shown this as early before. This hasn't been like his MO or anything. I'm not going to sit here and worry about it. But, you know, let this happen again next week or let this happen again in the next couple weeks. It'll certainly be a real, real dialogue. But right now, I think, you know, rough week, it happens to the best of them. Yeah. Um, and he won the game regardless. Just And that's also because the run game was just absolutely obliterating the Rams. But, yeah. you know, hey, I do think that after last week, last week certainly is a struggle. And it's going to show up in the film room all week. Yep. All right. Yeah, I think it could be. I, the issue I have is, like, that was a big reason they got rid of. Obviously, Shanahan and Jimmy G had their own gripes, like, off the field and everything like that. But... Jimmy G was missing those deep throws. And like, that was a big reason. I feel like they got rid of them. Um, the 49ers line held up well against the Rams defense, um, but they definitely allow more pressure than last year. CMC monster Kittle monster. Ayuk taking a step forward. He got hurt in this game. He's got to stay healthy. Um, I feel like the 49ers D line should have done more. Where the fuck was Nick Bosa? Like, did he play? No, like, I- obviously he played, but like, Stafford had a good amount of time to throw. Um, Do it 55 times as well, I mean. Yeah, a lot. Um, Purdy missed some... Those two deep throws to Debo and Ayuk, man, they were wide open. Honestly, uh, here's my thing. Let me... let me. I'm going to talk about the Rams, and then I'm going to come to the conclusion of this game. Puka Nakua, 2-2 Atwell. They can play. Once Cooper com- com- comes back, the Rams offense... Yo, Tyron that Williams... No, that receiving core, like, out of nowhere? Tyler Higby? Not bad. Here's my thing. Stafford, story as old as time. Two interceptions. The first one was not his fault. It was tipped. The second one put the game away. It put a nail in the coffin. Lenore also just made a fantastic play, but I agree. Just, just uh, yeah, can't. Despite the injuries, Stafford looks good at his age, and he's moving well, but... They didn't punt for the, they didn't punt until the first ten minutes in the third quarter. So shout out McVay, what you're doing with this offense is incredible. Kyron Williams looks awesome. Cam Makers, sorry buddy, you're you're playing in Cleveland, just fucking Detroit. I don't know, you're not gonna be in LA for much longer. This is like the third time we've had this conversation, but the Rams O line did amazing, only allowing one sack against the Niners. The Rams could compete, and McVay is truly him. This is what I will say. The 49ers should have ran away with this game. Ran away. And they didn't. So that's my only thought on the game. That's like my main thought from the game. So I'll go a different direction just because you already touched on everything about the Niners and everything. And I just got a few things to say about the Rams. But hear me out. Um, So number one, the Puka Nakua explosion. (laughs) Like, I mean... I, he I don't even like know the words. The I don't even know the words. Training camp hype guy. Like, oh, this is the guy. And everyone's like, oh, yeah, fuck him. Whatever. And he actually was. No, but I can't like, no, but this is, this is different. <laughs> this, like, this is like, like a dude's coming out week one. Like, he's playing like a first bout Hall of Famer right out the rip. Like, and the thing is what makes it so, so weird is you're like, nobody saw this coming. Like, yeah, Puka Nuku is putting out some real solid tape in college. Real nice rack. Like, real nice. Yeah, he gets the ball in his hands and just, he hits it. Like, he hits it. But, like, you told me he was going to have 25 catches, 266 yards in two weeks. That's, like, a lot of rookies whole season. Yeah. It's, like, some, like, that's not even a lot of rookies most season. That's, like, a, you're, like, yeah, he was getting touches. Good. That's good. You know, he was out there. This dude's out here. That's his first two weeks. Like. Man, it's, it's unprecedented. It truly is unprecedented. That's why I'm gassed so much. Because if anything, too, it's just a testament to Sean McVay and this offense. This West Coast scheme is just absolutely ballistic. Sean McVay just is a cooker. Shout out to Sean McVay, man. Shout out to Kyle Shanahan. What a great West Coast offense game more than anything. Just, you know, it was, I do agree the Niners should have ran away with it. But it was just a good, fun game to watch. Yeah, so I agree. We, we, we're the real winners that it wasn't. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm interested to see how far the Rams can go this year. They could possibly make the playoffs. I said week one, two, I'll repeat it. Uh, you know, Kyron Williams was very seemingly the uh, fantasy steal of the year. He was the league winner this year. When, uh, where, you know, everyone's like... No, I mean, they're, they're sh- like, fucking shipped off. They're about to ship off Cam Akers. I, we, we, you know, there's always that one guy where it's like, yeah, and you got him like round 12, 14, 15. That was me. Like, I got Jared the guy Goff last year around 11 in Dynasty. Well, that's that's Puka too. Like that's yeah. literally Puka. They're on the same the, the same team, the same role they're playing on people's fantasy teams. Imagine having both of them. Oh, God. Anyways. 